This question belongs to computer organization subject and was asked in GATE CSE 2015. So the question states, consider the following reservation table for a pipeline with three stages S1, S2 and S3. The minimum average latency MAL is. Okay, so let us see. Here we have three states and we have time interval 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let me first tell you what is some definitions. So what is a latency? So latency is basically the time state difference between two consecutive initiation of tasks. Okay. And then what is set of forbidden states? Set of forbidden states. So let me write the definition for latency. It is time state difference between two successive initiation of tasks and what is set of forbidden states it is the distance between each pair of reserved time slot so it is distance between each pair of reserved time slot or reserved time slot is represented by an x for each stage of pipeline so for, for each stage of pipeline And what is a collision vector? So collision vector C can be represented as from C1, C2 up till Cn. We can write it like this where Ci is 1 if I belong to our set of forbidden states and 0 else. Okay. And what is N? N is number of bits in C. Okay which is equal to max forbidden latency. So what is the word? Forbidden states. So let us see. Here forbidden states is distance between each pair of reserved time slot of each stage in pipeline. So it is at 1, it is at 5. So 5 minus 1 is 4. So forbidden state we have 4 as a forbidden state. We have 4, 4 minus 2 is 2. So we have 2 as a forbidden state. Here it will come out to be 0. So forbidden states is 2 as well as 4. Okay. So what is our collision vector? So collision vector will have 0. 1 if it belongs to forbidden state else it will have 0. So what is the collision vector for? So we will have for C1, C2, C3 and C4. So what is the value of C4? 4 belong to yes. So it is 1. 4 belong to forbidden states. 3 belongs no. 2 belongs yes. 1 belongs no. So collision vector is 1010. Let me write it over here. We have collision vector 1010. Now what we will do is that we will put this collision vector into a shift register. Okay. And at the end of each time step we give a right shift. And we give a right shift at the end of each time step to C. Now there are some conditions. If the bit we get is 1 then new task can't be done. New task can't be done. And if the bit dead comes out by shifting is 0, then we initiate a, initiate a new task. Okay. Now, let, let us do the real part for the question. Let me clear this stuff out. Now, this is the most important part. So, pay kind attention to this. See, initially we have our initial state equal to collision vector. 1, 0, 1, 0. So, we, I will write states over here. So, we have a state 1, 0, 1, 0 as Q0 state. Okay. Now, what happens at Q0? Now, we will make shifts. So, if we make a right shift, 0 will come. We will have 1, 0, 1. And what is popped out? 0 is popped out. Okay. Since bit 0 comes out, so we will initiate a new task. So what we do if we initiate a new task, then we will XOR our collision vector with our this state. Okay. With this. So we will get what is our collision vector? It is 1010 or 0101. So what we will get? We will get 1111. As we get a new state, so we will make a new state. Q1 is 1111. Okay. In, so we reached a new state Q1 in one shift. Okay, 
Now what happens? Now we have from this state we will shift again till a zero comes out. So what we have now we have zero one zero one. Okay, so we will make one more shift, so we will get 0, 0, 1, 0 and a 1 comes out. So if a 1 comes out, we keep on shifting. Now we make another shift, so we will get 0, 0, 0, 1 and a 0 comes out. Okay, so as a 0 comes out, we will make again an R between our collision vector which is 1, 0, 1, 0 as well as our this state which is 0, 0, 0, 1. So it will come out to be 1, 0, 1, 1 which is our new state Q2. So you get a new state Q2 as 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Now we will make again shift from 0, 0, 0, 1. We will again shift this. So we will have 0, 0, 0, 0 and 1 comes out. Okay. Now 1 comes out. So now again we will try to make a shift. But uh, since there are all zeros, so we will stop over there. Okay. Now we will repeat the same procedure with all new states. Okay, so we have another new state. So we have done this for Q0, then we have for Q1. So Q1 is our 1111. So we will make one right shift, we will get 0, triple 1 and 1 comes out. Now again we will make a right shift, we will get double 0, double 1 and a 1 comes out. Now we will again make a right shift, we will get triple 0, 1 and a 1 comes out. Now we will again make a right shift, we get 4 zeros and again a 1 comes out. We will make again a right shift, we will get 4 zeros and a 0 comes out. As 0 comes out, we will XOR our collision vector 1 0 1 0 as well as 0 0 0 0. So we will get 1 0 1 0 which means initial state Q0. So this is our state Q0 which means it takes 5 or more shift to reach Q1 from Q0. This is our Q1 and this is Q0. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and even more shifts. So Q1 to Q0 needs 5 or more shifts. Okay. Now let us start with our state Q2. Let me use a different color. So now we have our state Q2. So Q2 state is 1, 0, 1, 1. So we will make a shift. We will get 0, 1, 0, 1 and a 1 comes out. Now again we will make a shift. We will get 0, 0, 1, 0 and a 1 comes out. Now again we will make a shift, we will get triple zero one and a zero comes out. So as we have a zero coming out, we will again make an OR. So what we will OR? We will OR our one zero one zero collision vector as well as triple zero one. So what we will get? One zero one one, which is our state Q2. So which means after from here Q2, after one, two, three, after three shifts, our Q2 reaches to itself. So Q2 reaches to Q2 in three shifts. Okay. Now let us start with a different color. Okay. So now what we have? Now we we had triple zero one. So we will start from triple zero one. Now again we will make a shift. So we will get all four zeros and a one comes out. Now again we will make a shift. We will get all four zeros and a zero comes out. As zero comes out, we will initiate a new task. So what is our task? We will or 1010 as well as our 0000. 0, 0. So it will come out to be 1010. 0, 1, 0. Okay, now we will stop as all there are all zeros and there are no new states. Okay, so we have done for Q0, we have done for Q1 and we have done for Q2. From this after, so what happens? So it takes 5 or more steps to reach Q2 to Q0. So this is our Q2. So here we have step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4, step 5. So we need 5 or more steps to reach Q2 to Q0. So Q2 to Q0 need 5 or more steps. Now we will draw the straight transition diagram for this. So first let me clear all the steps. Okay. So we have three states. So what are those states? First of all, we have Q0, 1, 0, 1, 0. This was our Q0. Then we have Q1 state, 1, 1, 1, 1. We have Q1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And we have Q2, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So what happens? From Q0, we can reach Q2. 
in three states. From the previous diagrams, you can see from Q0 we can reach. Okay, let me rewind it up. So you can see these diagrams also. Okay, see. From Q0 we can reach Q2 in how many states? So this is our Q0. So we have one, two, three. So this is our one, two, three. So we need three from to reach Q0 to Q2. So Q0 to Q2 needs three steps. So this is our done. Now Q2 to Q0 need five or more steps that I have already told you. Okay. Now we have Q2 to Q2 in three steps I have already told you. Now we have Q1 to Q0 in five or more steps I have already told you. Now we have Q0 to Q1. So we have Q0 only in one shift we reach Q0 to Q1. Only in one shift. Okay. Now you can draw the diagram. So let me draw it over here. So we have Q0 one zero one zero. We have Q one. We have Q two one zero one one one. We have Q one 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 one. Now Q one. This is Q zero. This is Q two. So Q zero to Q one in three steps. Q zero to Q two in three steps. Q two to Q zero in five or more steps. Then we have Q zero to Q one in one step. Q one to Q zero in five or more steps. Then we have Q two to Q two in three steps. So this is our diagram. Now let me clear this. Now we have drawn the state transition diagram for our portion. Now we need to find the MAL, which is the minimum average latency. So see, now what we can do. So cycles in this state diagram tells the sustainable way in which the task can be initiated. Okay, so these are stable cycles. Okay, now what is the minimum average? Latency possible in stable cycles. It is total latency in the cycle by number of states in the cycle. Okay, so this is the average latency possible. And what is the minimum average latency? Minimum average latency is the minimum of all such latencies. So there are three possible cycles. So first cycle, second cycle, and third cycle. So what is the first cycle? It's Q0. Then we come to Q Q1. And then we goes to Q0. So this is our this cycle. Q0, Q1, Q0. So what is our average latency? So average latency is one plus five divided by number of states. So one plus five divided by two. So it comes out to be three. So it is total latency divided by number of states. Second cycle is Q0, Q2, Q0 cycle. So we have first we come from Q0 to Q2, then we go to Q0. So our average latency comes out to be. What is our total latency? It's three plus five divided by number of states two. So it comes out to be eight by two, which is four. Now our third cycle is Q two to Q two. So latency is average latency is number of states latency is three and states is one only. So we get comes to be three. So what is our minimum average latency? It is min of three, four, and three. So it comes out to be three. So answer to this question is. Minimum average latency is three.